A peace deal has finally been struck. But peace takes more than signatures and handshakes. The world is talking about the Israel-UAE deal. Tonight we'll break it down for you. We'll discuss what it means for those involved, for the region and for India. The deal between Israel and the UAE is called the Abraham Accord. It's been brokered by the United States. Israel and the UAE have no diplomatic relationship. They do not recognize each other. Their leaders do not talk to each other. All of that will change now. Let me tell you what happens next. Israel and the UAE will now establish full diplomatic relations. Both sides will set up their embassies. Their diplomats can meet. Leaders will hold bilateral talks. Now to the question of why this is so significant. What is the big deal? It's big because in West Asia, no Gulf country has a diplomatic relationship with Israel, which means Israel is not recognized by most of West Asia, except for three countries, Jordan, Egypt, and now the UAE. And like all stories, this too has a backstory. It's not like these countries have never engaged. All activities that used to happen behind the scenes will now happen in public view. That is the difference, and it's a big difference. Security cooperation can be made public. Israeli companies can now open offices in the UAE. Israeli passports will now be recognized on the borders of the UAE. In the coming weeks, delegations from both sides will meet. They will sign several bilateral deals covering pretty much everything under the sun. Investment, tourism, direct flights, technology, communication, you name it. So what is the United States doing here? Well, a few years back, U.S. President Donald Trump had unveiled his peace plan for West Asia, an attempt to settle the long-standing territorial dispute between Israel and Palestine. Trump's plans heavily favor Israel. One of the major sticking points is the ownership of West Bank. It's a chunk of land that lies towards the west of River Jordan, hence the name West Bank. Now, Israel and Palestine both stake claim over this piece of land. But West Bank has been occupied by Israel since 1967. Donald Trump's plan allots different territories of the West Bank to Israel. But that agreement has not gone anywhere. So some time back, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu decided to annex these territories, take them. After yesterday's announcement, Netanyahu has put these plans on hold, at least for now. And that is the single biggest takeaway from this deal. Israel and the UAE have established diplomatic ties and a potential flare-up has been avoided. With less than 90 days left for the U.S. election, Donald Trump is taking a victory lap. It will allow much greater access to Muslims from throughout the world to visit the many historic sites in Israel, which the Muslims want to see very badly and have wanted to see for many, many decades and to peacefully pray at the Al-Aqsa Mosque, which is a very special place for them. I want to thank the leaders of Israel and the UAE for their courage and for their leadership to forge this tremendous agreement. It will be known as the Abraham Accord. In Israel, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu is taking a victory lap too. Two reasons for this. First, he has a way out of the annexation plan that was frankly going nowhere. And second, Netanyahu will contest the next election in Israel from a position of strength. The establishment of a full and formal peace between Israel and the UAE. It includes the mutual opening of embassies, direct flights, and many, many other bilateral agreements. This is the greatest advancement toward peace between Israel and the Arab world in the last 26 years and it marks the third formal peace between Israel and an Arab nation. What about Palestinian leaders? Well, they're not happy about this. Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas has denounced the accord. Another Palestinian leader said that the UAE has stabbed them with a poisonous dagger. In exchange for this, we will sell out uh, Palestine and Palestinian rights. And the irony is, after doing all of this, they come and say, we did that for the Palestinians. No, he did not do that for me. I never expected this dagger, poison dagger, to come from an Arab country. Iran sees the Abraham Accord as a threat. Its sworn enemies, the UAE and Israel, have joined hands. What could be worse? Iran says 
this is a dangerous deal.